Hey guys, today's tutorial is going to be on a DIY crystal necklace. Unfortunately, I don't have an example for you, so you'll just kind of have to play it by ear and watch the video to see the final product. Um, for this tutorial, you're going to need some basic items. If you are a crafter, you shouldn't have to go and buy much. Um, you're going to need clay. I'm using original Sculpey White. You're going to need pliers, some kind of a small bead. I have like a palette here of small beads. The bead is optional. You're going to need wire, whether it's thin or thick. I'm using very thin wire here because I think it looks nicer, but you will have to use more if you're using thin wire. You're going to need something to scrape a pastel with. I'm just using this clay tool. You will need, of course, pastels. You will need some kind of brush or some kind of mini white puff ball. You will need an eye pin. You can easily make an eye pin, so if you don't have one, just take some wire and make one. And usually for a clay project, I'd be working on my granite surface, but it has yet to be cut, so I'm just going to be using index cards as a surface to work on. So this is basically all the stuff you'll need. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so here I have a small ball of clay. It's not very big at all, and I'm just going to begin shaping it into a diamond shape. So I'm going to pinch the edges like this and that way the bottom kind of flattens out and you get this diamond shape on the top like that and then you bring your hands away it should look something like this. I'm going to flatten the top here and continue sculpting this diamond shape. I'm going to make these edges less prominent And now I have my light diamond shape, and I'm now going to stick my eye pin in. Here it is. I just stuck my little bead on with the eye pin. Adds a little something to it. And now I'm going to get started with my pastels. I'm going to be using reds and oranges and pinks for mine. So to do this, I'm going to want to take another index card so that I'm not getting anything on my work surface here and I'm going to move this aside and take this thing, this tool that I'm going to be using to scrape the pastels I'm going to choose my first pastel color and scrape some of it off onto the index card I'm going to continue doing this with all of my colors until I think I have enough powder to cover my entire um, diamond. Here are my three pastel colors and my diamond. I just have them right next to each other and now I'm going to either use my brush or my puff ball to spread the pastel onto the diamond. I prefer the puff ball because it kind of gives the diamond a unique like rocky texture so that's what I'm going to be using.
So that was my last color, and I'm just going to kind of blow on this. So now all the little dust pieces that were stuck to this are off, and it's just the color. And now I'm going to bake this in the oven for whatever time the Sculpey says for. Mine is 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Here is the diamond after it's been baked. As you can see, the color has definitely lightened up. This is what it looks like on the sheet, so maybe you can see it a little better now. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And now I'm going to do something that I didn't mention in the materials, because I'm not going to do a tutorial on this part, but I'm going to emboss it. If you don't know what embossing is, it's basically glazing it, except in a fancy way. I'm going to spray embossing powder on it, and then take a heat gun to it. So I'll get back to you guys after that's done. Hey guys, I'm back, and I just finished embossing it. As you can see, it's very shiny now. And I'm going to cut a long piece of my wire. It needs to be very, very long. It's okay to have extra. Especially if you're using thin wire, you're wanna gonna you're gonna wanna use a lot. Now I'm going to take my pliers, which have a wire cutter in them, and cut this wire. For a wire this thin, you could probably just use scissors. And now I'm gonna show you how to wrap the diamond. Okay, so I've started by wrapping a small piece of the wire around the top of the eye pin, just so it stays in place while I wrap it. And now I'm going to go from side to side, like so. And I'm just going to wrap the diamond with the wire until I have it where I want it. This is what mine looks like so far. I'm going to continue wrapping. Here it is. I only have a little bit of wire left, and I'm going to use this to go around the back end. And I'm going to wrap it around my hook and eye <clears throat> a little bit more until it's in a good position and it's been wrapped around several times. Then I'm just going to cut it and add a string. Okay, so here is the finished product of your DIY crystal necklace. I have attached a string and a clasp on the end as you can see. I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. It's my first non-rainbow loom tutorial. Um, and I'm hoping to get a more variety of different tutorials out there. So, don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.